Well guys, it's uh, time to check in. I just wanted to do an update on the surgery uh, that I ended up having, a heart surgery or a valve replacement and an eight week journey and here we are today, finally back out on the road and to do some videos for the channel. just wanted to go over some of the things that happened in the eight weeks that we've been uh, off the air. You know the grandkids threw a video in there for me. They're working on another little one. But uh, yeah, we're out here at the lake today and uh, glad to be on my feet. It was a rough eight weeks. First four were in the hospital. So we're going to touch base on some of that uh, hospital stay in the rest of the video. And uh, yeah, just an explanation. But yeah, we're hoping to get the movies running again. A few shows. I don't know how uh, exciting they'll be. Over the next little bit, this we uh, still continue to do some therapy to get the muscles going again in the chest area. But watch the video and uh, yeah, check in uh, yeah, after the last CAT scan. They, uh, put a rush on my surgery. They called me two days later. Booked me in for uh, May the 12th. May the 12th to get the surgery done because and you know, the CAT scan uh, showed them some pretty good damage. And uh, yeah, once we heard the story of all the things they had to fix, that was pretty uh, pretty intense. So yeah, there's some graphic. Uh, medical images in the next little bit if you get grossed out by some medical uh, things just uh, maybe skip through and, uh, and uh, yeah just watch the end pieces but we want to thank God all the prayers up over the four weeks and still continue. Uh, we thank the doctors and nurses for hanging in there, doing the best they could to keep me alive. Because, yeah, I was, you know, you'll see in the next little bit of the video with some slides and video clips, it was pretty rough. But God and faith and doctors brought us through. Hopefully they're, they're uh, promising me a, a good 20 to 25, 30 years with this new valve and repair they did and uh, pacemaker. <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty mechanical now, but still alive and still enjoying God's creation. So keep watching and we'll go over uh, last eight weeks of our life in a quick video and uh, please stay tuned because we will have some more stuff coming uh, the grandkids are going to throw another video together they've been picking away at and uh, I might have to throw a few extra older videos in to fill the gaps in until we get to do something exciting but yeah, God's creation can be enjoyed with a four-wheel drive and uh, going out and beating it up. So it might be just some nice nature walks and stuff, but keep following our channel. And things are going to be better as fall comes along and we get our strength back. So, so yeah. be blessed. Uh, take care. Love one another. Enjoy each other. And just enjoy life and live life. Love you guys.
Talk to you later. Yep. May the 12th was surgery day for my open heart surgery, valve replacement, and aortic root repair. Was in ICU for two days after the surgery until May the 14th. I was allowed to go to the ward to be recovery. Tina had to go home at this time after the two days due to the corona policies in the hospital. May 25th, my sternum incision became infected and had to be opened up for inspection. Wires had failed to hold my ribs together and they called it a debriefment chest infection. Tina was allowed in. 
for the ICU after the inspection. I had to leave my chest open for 14 days with a wound vac bandage on it as the infection was tried to be controlled. June the 4th, my chest was finally closed. I had straps installed extra instead of just the wires at this time. Chest is stronger now. June the 9th, had pacemaker installed. Ready to get wired up for action. June 11th, I get to go home. This was the most exciting day in four weeks. A whole month had gone by, missing my family. Only seeing my wife for six days, my daughter for two afternoons. June the 25th, get my chest stitches removed. Doctor says everything looks great at this time. July the 15th, x-ray on chest found that the sternum bone was healing great and everything else looked okay inside. Allowed to take the next step and start physio and light lifting projects. As we move on, things get better. Supposed to be. Uh, be supposed to be. Uh, lots of water. Uh, they flooded up here. <laughs> the lake. Right there past the willows is where the deep front used to be. That was some heavy duty rain. We've uh, managed to accumulate an extra four or five feet of water in the lake. Slave Lake in the summertime. Usher Slave Lake. You guys seen them when we had the icy had a wind blowing and we got flood water.
little fireplace. Uh, come down here, the day camp, provincial park. Helping do our part and making money. Uh, 20 cents.